Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today let's take a look at three headphones that I've had under review for the past couple of weeks or three weeks. Let's go! So in the last couple of weeks I have been checking out three headphones to see how they work in the studio. The three headphones are the Hyperman Aria and the Odys or Odyssey LCD X and the headphone HEDD headphones. I've been using a Burson headphone amp um, to drive them. It's balanced and you know quarter inch, as well as my Lynx uh, has two headphone outs and it's all high quality. But uh, the Burson definitely has more resolution and and just more of everything I think plus it has more power so there's no problem driving any of these headphones way louder than I can take these three headphones which ones are best for studio work in particular we're not talking about audiophile hi-fi kind of verbiage when we're talking about these headphones as far as professionally is concerned it, it is way more about how they translate in the mixes and the mastering. Comfort is an issue when you have to sit with them for a long time. Uh, you know, editing vocals, for example, is, is very good to do on a headphone. I wouldn't say levels. That's a big no-no. Uh, use speakers for that. But when you're EQing and using compression, headphones are pretty good for that and distortion as well. So um, it's mostly as a tool uh, to complement your speakers, essentially. I wouldn't use them as a main uh, tool, but also when you're on the road and things like that, it's good to have a reference set of headphones. So which one of those three actually is the best? Best for studio work. Now, as far as like the specs are concerned, you know, the physical specs of them, the Aria Stealth is, let's see here, 404 grams, that's pretty light. 32 ohm impedance and uh, 95 dB per milliwatt. So they're pretty efficient. And the Odyssey LCD X's are even more so. They are 20 ohms and 90, 103 dB per one watt. But they're pretty heavy at 612 grams, which is off-putting to some people. Doesn't bother me that much. But let's talk about those HEDD phones, uh, headphones. Uh, they are 718 grams. That's noticeably heavier than any of the other two. Uh, 42 ohm impedance and at 87 dB per milliwatt. So they're not very efficient. So having a powerful headphone amp is essential to use those. The weight and fit and comfort of these, like I said before, is pretty important. But the weight alone is pretty important spec here. The other one is is how the weight distribution and the clamp force is. Now of those three, the Arias here are the most comfortable. They're the lightest, but they also sit on the head the best. Now in a studio, you need to reach for stuff, buttons and, and, and uh, guitar knobs or taking something on the floor off, you know, you know, a pedal or something like that. So if they sliding around like this on your head while you're listening, that's not, definitely not a good thing, in my opinion. Now, the Odyssey headphones are way heavier, but they have an ability to distribute the weight really evenly on the head. And uh, also, the clamp force is just right. So they're also very comfortable. Not as comfortable as the Hi-Fi Man uh, Arias, but I find them very comfortable, but in order to have them comfortable on your head, I'm almost out at the end of this pin. So there's not much more give. I'm wondering if they have longer pins, but anyway, they're pretty heavy and they don't, they don't move too much. Because they're a little bit heavier, they do move a little bit, but I, I find them acceptable to me. The last one here is the head. Now, these are big, bulky headphones big pads because they want the driver to be further away from the ear a little bit um, so to me 
first and foremost, this bar here is not long enough for my head, so it kind of pinches my earlobes. That's an uncomfortable thing to me. Um, they also have like a gyroscopic force because they're so far away from your head where the weight is, and uh, that makes them move a lot on your head. If, you know, you, you're bobbling a lot on that. So as far, and then they're heavy on top of it. I don't find them very comfortable. I mean, it's limited how long I can sit with these on my head. So comfort is pretty important. Uh, usability in the studio, that's also very important. As far as sound quality is concerned, uh, to me personally, the most important thing is the sound of the instruments for studio use. Y you know, you, you're dealing with individual instruments that need to be either EQ'd or compressed or panned, uh, reverb on them, and all those kind of decisions. And headphones have to aid you in that. The first thing I'm going to mention, though, is that none of these headphones work for me without EQing them. EQing them mean either Sona works, or I, I'm using Nuendo as a sequencer, and it has, I just got released, by the way, three or four weeks ago, and they added a whole bunch of EQ curves, and all these three headphones are actually in the library of EQ curves uh, on that. Now, a quick aside, uh, Sona works only has an EQ curve for the Odyssey LCD axis. I've contacted them to get a Heifman Aria in there because uh, it's a pretty common headphone, you know, in the world in in that upper tier, and it requires an EQ for sure. Um, none of them are, are flat or or even keeled. For reference headphones, it needs to be flat. Rule of flat if you can get it, so you can make proper decisions about EQing and positioning. As far as as the three headphones, once they EQ'd, and uh, mainly used the Nuendo EQs, which is not completely accurate, I gotta be honest with you, but, uh, and the Sona works, definitely sounds better. But as far as, as the sound of these three, even the EQ, they sound very different from one another. They have definitely have strengths and weaknesses uh, amongst them. As far as timbre is concerned, meaning in for me, timbre means the sound of an instrument. The uh, you know, trumpet has to sound like a trumpet, and, and a snare drum has to sound like a snare drum. And the more realistic that is, the easier it is to make decisions about how they're supposed to sound in a mix. So that, to me, is one of the most important things. And here's where I think that the head headphones, they are superb in this instant. I mean, especially with upper mid-range instruments like, let's say, uh, you know, cymbals and, and down, you know, trumpets and uh, acoustic guitar and things like that. The Odyssey is really good in the mid-range further down the octave here. And uh, they also are very punchy, by the way. But anyway, the the uh, Haiferman Arias, I have to pet, I have to hold my judgment on them because I feel like I don't have the right EQ on them yet, and they do have a little bit of a Technicolor sound to them, which can be a little bit off-putting when you're sitting there and tweaking away at something. But because they sound so good in vocals, it's a joy sitting and editing vo vocals on them uh, for hours on end because they're comfortable too. This rhythmic ability that these headphones have is pretty important to me also, especially with, if I'm working on heavy metal and rock and roll. Um, for heavy metal and rock and roll, uh, having a drive in the bottom end and also have a snappiness to the drums makes it really easy to judge compression and on other things. And here, here's where I think Odyssey runs away with it. Uh, the LCD Xs, they are superb in that regard. Um, as far as the presentation is concerned now, in a studio kind of want a forward presentation. You don't want it to be laid back and, and audiophile-like because it makes your decision much, much more difficult. So the areas are very spacious and there's a lot of space between the instruments as opposed to the other two. Uh, the Odyssey probably has the least 
and therefore they lend themselves well to to dealing with orchestral music uh, where you you can kind of place them properly in the soundscape and so they have a they have a power right there that's very useful as far as um, this break in time for a studio that doesn't have a lot of time you know I have to dedicate a, a place where you can sit and let them play for days on end I have to say that the headphones were pretty much broken in when I got them that's what it sounded like they didn't change much the Odyssey was somewhat broken in they didn't take more than a day to break in but the Haifa man they're still breaking in after a couple of weeks so I don't, I don't get that that's not very helpful so like I said, I'm suspending my full judgment on these hyphenmans because it takes so long to break in. I don't have the proper EQ curve for them yet. That's my opinion for now about these headphones. And if I had to pick one, I'll definitely take the Odyssey LCD Access. They have a an immediacy to them that you just I can't get away from that. The, 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 the guitars alone is the most realistic sound that I, when I hear it in the room and I hear the microphone and it's just really good for for uh, making judgments in the studio about mic placements and, and, and EQing and things like that. The headphones, I, I would love to keep them but they're so darn uncomfortable and, and unruly when I'm moving around my desk Maybe they'll change the design a little bit and make it a little more sturdy on your head and more comfortable and maybe bigger on the strap so they'll fit my head. As far as the hi fi um, like I said, I'm going to hold my judgment and then until they're fully broken in and I have had a chance to EQ them properly. But they do sound very, very nice and pleasant. And that's my take on this. And I'll probably do some follow-up when I get more headphones in here. Just want to know, have an opinion about something. When people are talking about soundstage on headphones, I have not heard a pair of headphones that didn't sound like headphones where it's on your head and, and the sound emanates inside your head. It's not like speakers that are in front of you. So until that the day I actually hear headphones that sound like speakers in front of me or an orchestra in front of me or a band in front of me, they still sound like headphones. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and until next time, take care.